properly home-cooked popcorn. Start off with just a touch of oil in there as it lightly starts to smoke. Corn in. So now, get your lid. Never leave it far away from you. Sounds like it's raining. It's not. So it's popcorn canals time. Pop out. Boom. Mmm, delicious. Just a little shake of the pan. Get it going. And then lift that lid at your peril. We See? It's a very exciting pan in there. And when all that little pitter-patter stops, you know your popcorn is cooked. Nice. You could eat it fresh from the pan, but I've got another plan. I'm gonna make a salted caramel popcorn. Start off with your sugar into the hot pan. Never stir a caramel, otherwise it crystallizes. It's a salted caramel, so a nice pinch of salt in there as well. Now, once you've got it to a really nice dark caramel flavor, stir in your butter very carefully. Caramel's very, very hot. Half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda kickstarts the reaction that gives the caramel a honeycomb flavor. Mix that in, and you'll see it reacting almost like a large crunchy in the bottom of your bowl. Now the gas is off, and that caramel is a nice, dark, rich flavor. Now pour in the popcorn to coat it with that incredible caramel. Give that a good mix. It's that easy, and it's going to taste amazing. Lay that nice and flat. Once that cools down, it becomes nice and brittle. But you've got that nice salted caramel flavor, which just takes popcorn to a complete dim level. Have a Jack? Mmm. Mm. 